That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. Wonder if just knocking on the front door will work. Wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. Mm. I can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves. The sting of the salt in my eyes. And the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Interesting. Ooh, this one's gonna be more of a challenge. I hear tell the French are ready to move in our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before weeks end. Okay. They're all getting suspicious. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? Bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Unconvinced. It seems so. At least I've made some progress, right? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, where's Braddock's camp? Uh, a decent distance away.
That horse seems to be having some problems. You dropped your liquor, bro. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna have to leave you here. Actually, I don't. Oh my god, this water's probably freezing. Could have just crossed that bridge over there, but I'm sure there's a horse here somewhere. Hi, I'll take you. And by you, I mean Winston. I love you, Winston. You're the coolest. Whoops. Apparently Winston is not a huge fan of rocks. Hello, bunny. Why are you running this way, bunny? Ooh, hello, log. Can I cross that? Ah, bridge. Never mind. No need to test the log. I'm sure the bridge will suffice. Pardon me, gentlemen. Troy's Woods. I am not familiar with the Northeast geography very, uh, that's too steep, very well. At least not to know, know where some place like Troy's Woods is. Now if it was the James Woods, I might know where that's at. Oh, oh, oh my god. So sorry. Another bridge, here we go. Maybe I should just follow the road. You'd think they would take you to bridges, right? Redcoats. Hmm. Let's see if I can cut up through here. It appears so. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. What cart? Ah! Whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cut feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Thought they took him on his word and didn't check. You did forget to mention the lone British assassin. Cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Perhaps. Enemies will investigate on site. Awesome. Oh, are we stopping here now? No solution at all. That allowing 
allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict, one in which they now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words, as much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me. We're far from home with our forces of No! Work. I fear Braddock's bloodlust may be Get back here! No! Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command center you have to review. At least this will be ended soon. I try, John. I know, my friend. I know. <laughs> Sneaky as possible. Can't see a thing. I'm sure this is going to look great on YouTube. Y'all can see everything, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, this is not going to work like that. Oh, oh. Oh, just fall. Just fall. Thank you. Hmm. This is not going to work at all. guard you know you really don't want to be out here in the snowstorm thank you something right there. This is my goal, isn't it? Do a sideways jump either. Dang. Hmm. So I will have to drop down. Tell you what. Do me a favor. Distract them, would you?
All right. Ten pounds. Awesome. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Uh, that's the fort I was escaping, so never mind that one. Hello, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Very bad. Lord, how far is this? Quite, quite far. Okay, so that's not gonna, that's not gonna fly. Let's do that. Thank you. You bet whistle for your horse cannot be a permanent option. Everybody's gonna wanna do it, like, all the time. Not a fan of the water, huh? Oh, hold on. I think the bridge is over here. Wow. You can jump. Okay. Oop, going the wrong way. Road, maybe? Close. Here we go. None of this looks familiar. Whoa, bridge. Hurt. Here we go. Concord. I have no idea what you just jumped over. That's alright. At least he knows where he's going. Hey, fellas. the cold, cold ground. Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you... <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. Quite an interesting bunch, I must say. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. That humid food. It's not a swamp, I tell you. Uh, to say nothing of the mosquitoes. 
Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? Return to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated our enemy. If I have, Charles will sense it first and make his escape. He's more clever. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes. United in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you'll help the others to prepare. Follow. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means, we need more land! The French understand this, and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride. To offer them one last chance, the French will leave, or they will die! Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. Signal. There, in front of us. The wood's too thick. At this rate, it'll be days before we reach Duquesne. We should follow the river instead. We're near 2,000 men. One scout is all they need to know of us. And then what? Swiftness would serve us better. Ah, he's walking away. Blast. Come back over here, sir.
Pardon me, sir. Ride to Braddock's position. I'm glad I was able to see that before it disappeared, because I wasn't able to read it before it disappeared. Read it out loud, that is. How could anyone call I'm telling you, we pack the car the French push back, there'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. This is going to be a challenge. Hmm. Sir, you are grateful to have, sir. General! Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Are you off to it? He's running. Come back here, you coward. Holy crap. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Don't. Hurry before he gets away! I said go! I don't deserve this! You're a hypocrite, Adam! I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand! Can't I just shoot him? Death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe just a little personal. Been a pain in my ass, after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, I concur. Farewell, Edward. part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Honor me?
No. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that it would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yodzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us. Her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us. And her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. All these red X's... I want more blue circles. And yellow moons. I wonder if there's anything else I can do. Uh, it doesn't appear to be. Ben can talk, but I highly doubt he's got anything new to say, unfortunately for him. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen. Please, sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts. ...and expand our order... ...and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us... ...I am confident we will find it. Truth. Here, here. Furthermore... ...I believe it is time... ...we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple... ...and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge... ...and reap all the benefits that such a gift implies. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order and all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the Father, Father of Understanding, of understanding, guide, understanding us. guide us. Wait. What? What the fuck? <laughs> huh?
How do you like them apples? <laughs>